so now i want to talk about routing in other words routing mean navigations uh, you have seen in all the almost every web application we have links and we need to click on different buttons and links to navigate to another pages of the same website or the external pages of other websites so in angular uh, the routing works in a single page web application so what do i mean by it if i open up my browser uh, we can see that the, if i click on it and you can see that it has opened up a new link and it has reloaded the whole link in the browser what the single page application does is we have the link within a page and rather than reloading the whole page inside the browser it actually load a particular view in the particular area of web application rather than uh, reloading all those contents that don't need to be changed like if we have a main menu we have a footer we have a sidebar and along with the sidebar we have a content area and if we want to navigate to another content area we reload the main menu we reload the sidebar we reload the footer and that makes application of uh, specifically web application a bit slower the single page application is much faster because uh, it is uh, it doesn't reload the whole page rather it loads the particular content within a specific area of a web page so in angular it is called routing so let's get started i have created a new project it has nothing but the default uh, components default module default files and i have uh, it doesn't contain the custom component that I just created um, but because I want to create two components and one component will be used as a one uh, page another component will be served as another page and I will add two links in my main component uh, just below this title and when I will click on the first link uh, we will load up the view of our first custom component and when I will click on the second link I will load up the content of the second custom component without reloading the whole web page. So let's get started. First of all, I need to create two components in my project. So I will press Ctrl C and in order to create our component as I have shown you that this is how we create components. Like this we need to write ng g component and the name of our component. So I will write ng space g space component and after that I need to name my component. The first one I will name my component product. So I will press enter and it's going to take some time and it's going to create the component inside my app folder. You can see that it has created a product custom component with all those four required files that are needed to uh, form a complete component. So let's run this file again and create another component and I will name it members and I'll press enter to let it create my another component. So you can see that both the components have been created in my app folder. The first one is the product. The uh, second one is the members uh, dot component dot CS. Now let's run our application to see if there are no errors. So I have executed the command ng-serve and if I navigate to my browser and I need to reload this localhost colon 4200. Actually let's go and see it's still compiling now it's compiled and reload it and I'm going to right click and inspect. And you can see there is no error in our console means that our components are working uh, fine okay so now let's navigate to our project now uh, let me first add the reference for our selectors so let's open up our product.component.ts and I'm gonna copy this one app dash product open it paste and just below this one let's add a br element uh, to bring our cursor to the next line and i'm going to open up my members so i will write app dash member paste and let's save this file 
and navigate to our browser so we can see that uh, we have loaded the components within our parent component and we have shown the uh, binded template for individual component like for this component we have this template for this component we have this template so now we need to convert over both the components so that uh, we need to add links on this page and when we will click on the first link it should show this text and when we will click on the second link it should show this text so if I open up my app dot module.ts we can see that both the components have been added in our parent module and we have both the uh, variables the reference variable have been added within the declaration property okay so one thing I want to uh, mention here that there is a convention for defining the names uh, of modules and the component it should end with the module all the modules should end with module all the components should end with the component starting with the name of component and the same with the module now in order to uh, define the routing and the navigation process in angular 4 application we need to import another angular 4 library and these are the external libraries and this is how we define and import the uh, external libraries so now just below it I need to import and I'm going to name this module router module from single column and I will write at angular slash and after that I need to write the name of external library that I want to use within this application so uh, the name of library is router and that let us define the routing within our application it is right now grayish color because it is not being used uh, right now because we need to uh, define this module within our imports uh, and that will make it a uh, more uh, colorful so first of all let's come down to imports and I will write uh, what is this a uh, router module dot and I will write uh, it's called for root and within these brackets I need to define an object you can see that that has been colored up because it is now being used uh, within our imports so within our actually this is not an object this should be an array so within this array we need to define our routes right now we have two components member and the product so inside this array I need to define objects and within this object I will write path colon and within the single quotes I need to define the name uh, of that view uh, and this name will be shown along with this URL of our web application and after uh, backslash and after that we can have any kind of name but that should be meaningful so first one is the member so I will write backslash and I will write member actually not with a backslash a single member and now I will write a comma and after that I need to give a reference for my first component if I open up uh, member.component.ts we can see that it has a class and the class has name members component and this is the name of our class that we need to add in our app.module.ts so I will go back to app.module.ts and I need to refine a component so I will write component column and after that let's paste the members component and this is where we are defining the one page view for our router so after that I will add a comma just copy this object paste it right here and I'm going to change the path from member to product and component name should be the name of our class so I will open up my product.component.ts and I will just copy this product component come back to our app.module.ts and I will paste this one right here and I will save this file okay right now the routing uh, won't work from now uh, because I haven't added the links on this page
parent component uh, because those links will be used uh, for uh, navigating to different components so now I will come back to uh, my app dot component dot HTML and rather than writing the directives directly I can define any HTML that has a click event but right now I will use an anchor tag so I will write a and after that I need to write a property name and that is called router link equals and I will write forward slash and I need to add the name of my path so first one is the member so let's write a member and within this I will write the uh, text within this link and I will copy this one and paste it right below and I will change the name of this member to the other component so I will copy this product from here and I will paste this one and I'm going to remove uh, both of the below lines and I'm going to save this file and let's navigate to our page actually I needed to change this one product so let's navigate and reload our page actually it automatically reloads and if I click on it it doesn't work because I haven't uh, defined an area that if I click on any of these links where should we show the content of individual component whether it's on the right side whether it's on the bottom of this page whether it's on the uh, bottom right corner of this page we need to define uh, an area where we want to show the data for our component and the data for both the components resides within the HTML files of both the components so now let's come back to our app.component.html and I'm going to define the area for showing the content of individual component right below the links okay uh, but after that I'm going to write a BR to bring my cursor a bit more um, at the bottom of these links router dash outlet okay and I'm going to save this file now if I click on it member products and you can see uh, the URL has been changed uh, slash product if I click on member you can see that the forward slash and the member is being changed and one thing uh, you need to notice that the whole page is not being loaded the this part of text the links and this header remaining same only the um, the content is being changed that is the individual component and this is making angular application uh, much faster and much reliable uh, and much secure as compared to reloading the whole page for different uh, content of our page and we can have bunch of components for defining the routing uh, this was a small configuration for routing for navigating from one component to another component uh, with the help of um, component.html so for now that's pretty much it I hope that you have got the idea about routing I will proceed further in this uh, whole uh, tutorial and talk further about advanced routing within angular 4